first day exploring Cairo. I am out here outside of the Egyptian Museum. Very excited to start exploring for the day. I have to tell you, it's a little bit hectic. The city of Cairo, so busy and the traffic is amazing to a point where the driver earlier, he had to turn off the car in the middle of the road because it was just not moving for a while. But anyway, I'm out here and today I'm traveling with two other ladies that I met at the hostels, just keeping each other company and giving each other some comfort and not having to explore uh, completely solo. It's a beautiful sunny day and I cannot wait to take you with me inside and see uh, what's interesting inside the Egyptian Museum. The Egyptian Museum is the oldest archaeological museum in the Middle East. It houses the largest collection of Egyptian antiquities in the world over 150,000 items with a good amount of them on display. This is a must visit if you are in Cairo. A fascinating amount of treasures to be honest and there's so much to learn. It's, it's just so overwhelming. But uh, what I found interesting are some of the coffins that they do have in display. They were able to construct them from a tomb and then some of the coffins, they even have the mummies inside and they are preserved, probably 3,000 years old. And it's amazing to see the mummy and how the body is preserved. You can see the hair, the nails, it's, 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 it's amazing. I came across um, a lot of uh, students uh, just drawing and it's uh, a large group just spread out all around the museum. Um, found that to be interesting. I asked and it turned out uh, there are a lot of students who come here to the museum from the uh, School of Applied Arts or something like that. And then they're just drawing and working on, uh, you know, drawing some, uh, some arts related to uh, some of the pieces here in the museum. Just checked one of the galleries with the funerary treasures of this king and it's fascinating. In some of these galleries, they don't allow taking videos or photos for that matter, but the, all the jewelry and the, the pieces that were used to decorate the mummy and the treasures that were buried with the king, they're just so amazing. A lot of gold, uh, a lot of uh, precious stones for the pieces of jewelry, but it's so incredible. The museum was uh, so interesting, there are so many things to learn and I feel like if uh, you really want to go in depth and understand what every single piece is and the importance of every single piece, you're probably better off uh, to hire a guide, I think it would be very useful. Uh, but I did this uh, as a self-guided uh, adventure and it was good because they still have a good number of signs all around so if you can read that in Arabic and English so you can read and you can get a decent understanding of what you are looking at which was really good and then I mean everything is really interesting but there are two things that I found very interesting and I was just wow so amazed uh, the mummies and being able to see the mummies inside of the coffins and then also the galleries where they share all the funerary treasures for the kings and all of the gold and jewelry that was buried with them that was mind-blowing for me outside uh, when you exit they do actually have a couple of snack bars and they do have uh, some restaurants where you can grab a bite to eat the prices are a little bit high uh, but just uh, keep that in mind in case you're looking for uh, a bite to eat so we walked from the museum to make our way to the waterfront by the Nile because there is a walking trail right there but it turned out it's still under some construction so it wasn't quite open um, it was short walking distance from the museum but the thing is and there is no pedestrian walkway so we were literally crossing the highway and it was so hectic drivers are really aggressive out here in Cairo but I think right now we're just gonna try to find a restaurant and go try some authentic Egyptian food maybe some kushari and uh, see how that goes super super stressful and a lot of noise and my goal is to just not end up with a heart attack today is all <laughs> because the crossing <laughs> the crossing of the road is just crazy and then in places where you can find a pedestrian walkway the lights are not working so you're just crossing and hoping for the best <laughs> uh, we're here at uh, Maidan Talat Harb but we just stopped to get some uh, juice yes, juice for our friend here yes. I've got the juice <laughs> and uh, I have to tell you it's crazy 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 <laughs> and 
<laughs> That's the place right there. Kushari Abu Tariq. It's a pretty popular place, especially for uh, Kushari. We're gonna give it a try. There's a, <laughs> a big uh, traffic jam out here, but we will make our way and try some uh, good, authentic Egyptian food. Let's go. That's their delivery guy, actually. Okay, um, we will go from here before it gets too busy. All right, that is the place, Kushari Abu Tariq. We finally made it. We got a table and the kushari. kushari. We're trying kushari, and we actually just realized that the only thing they serve here is kushari. That's it. One dish. Only one That's dish. It. We're all are hungry, and we're excited to dig in. We're ready to eat. First time trying this dish. What did you think of kushari? I think the dish was a 10 out of 10. It was perfect. Um, it was very tasty. I loved it. It's great and it's just so nice to see how they make kushari. Yeah. And I saw the, the, the restaurant is so vibrant, like it's yeah. so busy and uh, it's just so nice to see, you know, how, uh, you know, people are working in the restaurant. <laughs> it moves so fast. <laughs> yeah, yes. they were really fast. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Kaya, by the way, has the, a YouTube channel. Yes, my YouTube channel is at Pretty Risky Gang. So check me out. I've been traveling since August, <laughs> so it's pretty cool. How many countries uh, have you been to since you started? So I've been to Indonesia, Thailand, it's four countries. I'm on my fifth country now, so oh. yeah. And he's traveling Egypt? Yep. Solo. Yep. All of us solo. pretty much. Yes. Right? Yeah. <laughs> All Did of us die? traveling Egypt for solo, that's, yeah. that's pretty neat. All solo travelers. We were trying to find a place uh, for dessert and we met this guy who recommended this pastry place or bakery. Halawani Al Abid, and they do actually have a good variety of all type of desserts, especially kanafa. They sell it packaged, and they do have some nuts. Uh, Heroku just uh, bought some nuts and ice cream. The ice cream is really good. Uh, I just finished mine. No time to film. Pistachio, and uh, she tried the strawberry pistachio. How's the strawberry? Great. So good. The flavors here are just so awesome, and uh, they do have donuts. They, they they literally have everything. This place is really good. Uh, but I think we will be wrapping up our adventure here. Uh, we're well fed. Uh, we saw enough of Cairo for today. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.